thoughts on air conditioning engineers yeah i mean them man they get paid good, good money and that people that do bms uh building management services and that they, they get good money any sort of trade yeah aircon gas engineer electrician plumber they they all quantity surveyors blood as long as you get the right job you know i'm saying self-employed you get some 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 decent money man there's money out here to be earned man. i'm telling you the problem is if you stay as a paye employee for your whole life yeah you're never gonna really maximize the amount of money that you could be earning trust me when i was at home saharangi riding on a local maximum 1900 take home it's a month if someone ever told me you could take home 1900 a week i'll tell you you're fucking lying man. i'm getting paid from work tonight well i get paid from work at three in the morning yeah on a wednesday morning i'm gonna be getting about 1900 i'm submitting my invoice that's for a week i remember i was earning that in a month if someone told me you could be getting paid 1900 a week I would say you're fucking lying, blood. Like if this was when I was at home Saharan gay eight years ago. But until you're exposed to it, you think you think people are chatting shit. There's a you. Someone come, you know that video I made where I was talking at like showing all the pay slips and that? Because I've got to show proof of this shit, obviously. So obviously I made that video with the pay slips in the background. And then I made like a follow-up video, like why I got fired from a job that paid me over two thousand pounds a week. Yeah. Look, like when you're speaking as a human being, you are going to slip up when you speak. So I was saying that I was getting paid X amount, two thousand pounds a week take home, and having to pay five hundred pound a week CIS tax. So my take home per week was like two grand. That's after I paid five hundred pound per week CIS tax. Yeah, I must have slipped up and said one minute I said five hundred pound a month, then the week I said then then I said I have to pay five hundred pound a week. Some you come underneath the comment section. I didn't respond to it. Obviously, dumb jack ass and that. This you was like, oh, one minute you said it was five hundred pound a week, then you're saying it's five hundred pound a month. You're chatting shit. The reason why he thinks I'm chatting shit is because he's never earned that sort of money. When people denounce and people don't believe certain things that are true, it's because they've never done it themselves. They can't see it. I'm telling you, if someone told me back in the day when I was working at home, saying, yeah, man, I'm taking on £2,000 a week. And I was at the time taking on £2,000 a month. See, someone might get on to me. Oh, you said it was 1900 a month. Now you're saying it's £2,000. <laughs> I would say you're chatting shit. You're lying because I've never experienced it. If someone come to me and said to me, yeah, I take on £1,500 a week, I'd be like, normal. I take home a little bit more than that. Normal. But if you've never earned that sort of money before, you'll think it's a lie. These tenants' houses that I go to, if I told them that, yo, I'm in the process of buying my fourth property, and that, they'll think, this guy's fucking lying. You know why? Because they're not in that position. They're at the bottom of the social economic scale. They could not understand owning four properties or potentially almost owning four properties at the age of 31. There's man that's fucking 25 with more properties than me. They couldn't, they couldn't fathom it because they're not doing it themselves. I promise you, if I went to Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk or fucking Alan Sugar, say, yeah, I've got 10 properties by the age of 30. They'll be like, so? They wouldn't give a shit because their man's levels is way higher than owning 10 properties. 